Quest. I am the executive chef at a Village Crossroad. I got into cooking when I was 15 years old. My grandma used to take me out to restaurants, really good ones. And I went to this one French restaurant and had the most amazing food and fell in love with, with cooking. I just wanted to share with the world the kinds of flavors that are out there. It was really hard for a startup business right now, especially a startup restaurant. So we started in the farmer's market. We got a processing plan where we could package our, our soups that we make. We make gourmet soups using ingredients that we buy from local farms through specialty produce. So now we're selling sandwiches as well. Our signature sandwich is a grilled chicken Caesar wrap with homemade red croutons, homemade Caesar dressing, and chicken that's been grilled with a smoky tomato aioli. Working in Brian's Farmer's Markets, and he was the first market manager to bring uh, EBT, or food stamps, to the Farmer's Market to make it available to everyone. Also beginning the first Sunday in February, uh, a Village Crossroad will be doing uh, food demos and culinary teaching at the Point Loma Farmer's Market. There's a lot of people that can't afford to eat high-end food. And I feel that, you know, it's a service to humanity to go in and, and make food available in communities uh, where it's affordable, but it's all scratch made. I want to give a, uh, a quick demo on making roasted vegetables. It's not exactly grilled vegetables. Grilled vegetables are different. This is roasted and most people uh, would rather just do it in, in their home roast the vegetables in their oven, which works really good. All you have to do is have the oven at a high temperature, like 450 degrees. So the rule is, when you're making a vinaigrette, to make sure that you have one third of your total volume is acid. Whether you want to use balsamic vinegar or, I like to use red wine vinegar. It's just simple and it has a lot of flavor. And then two thirds oil. The thing about oil is, is that you should use either canola or olive oil. The reason being is because they are omega-9s. Soybean oil is omega-6, which is the most popular oil in the United States. Omega-6 are inflammatories and omega-9s are anti-inflammatories. So we just add a handful of basil, a handful of thyme, A handful of garlic and just like you would salt and pepper we don't we don't use salt to season what we use the salt for is the same way that you would in baking to bring out the vanilla flavor we use salt just enough to bring out the flavor of the garlic you know and most of the vegetables are very easy to prepare. Just the thing is, is to slice them between a an eighth and a quarter inch thick. Because you don't want it too thin or it'll just dry up. We have our eggplant. Eggplant is a little bit different because uh, it is like a sponge. It will soak that oil in so quickly. So we just want to quickly run the eggplant through the marinade and not allow it to sit for any amount of time. So, you know, we make some fairly good thick slices there. Uh, it's a lot easier to do the, uh, the squash. off into the marinade. The same with the uh, red bell pepper. You just quarter it. And our zucchini. And we'll just drain them in here. We'll put the skin side down on the bell pepper because it helps to cook it better. 
when it's next to the middle. And then, the important thing is the eggplant would just slide through real quick, shake it off so that it doesn't soak in all of the oil. And now what we'll do is we will bake this for about 30 minutes in a 450 degree oven. Mm -hmm.